Hi guys, um, I'm about to do something on my skin, but I was like, let me just make a video so I can show you guys. So what I'm about to do is like um, clean off the dead skin cell on my face. I don't use scrub. Some people use scrub to take that off, but I am kind of shy away from scrub because of my skin condition. I had a CD acne, so right now I don't like to use anything like scrub on my skin. So I just usually use bleach to take away the dead skin cells. I will show you guys actually what I do and how I do it. So it's kind of like getting that glass um, skin, making your skin glow again, taking some of the dead skin because you know, you guys know we shed our dead skins after maybe a couple of weeks so you have to like clean it off so any product that you are using can penetrate right into your skin and give you that beneficial um stuff within the product okay so i'm going to show you guys the blade i use i use this blade i know people use it most of the time to to kind of like um do their eyebrows i don't use it for my eyebrows because i don't know how to do it so i use it only for my skin i have a um, several of these I buy a big pack of these blades and I use them on my face so I usually do this like once a month I don't do it often I do this once a month if I feel like I my skin is a little bit rough I will usually do this to to take away the dead skin so um initially before you do this guys you need to wash your face I did wash my face um so my skin is now just from wash washing and, and patting dry i just wash it and pat dry that's all no lotion nothing so when you're about to do this it's always advisable to use oil i use rose hip oil um from um ordinary so i use it so it can have that glassy feeling it can have that kind of slippery feeling so the blade can easily go through your face and it doesn't wound you trust me guys it's not i was scared for my first time i started this i was very scared i thought it was gonna wound my face it's gonna like cut me but it doesn't do that so you just need to put oil on the skin before you do it it will be very smooth and gentle on your skin okay so let's do this i use I like to use my mirror i have this little mirror that i use a lot it's really um can i say the mirror is it kind of like brings out the more effect of your skin so you can easily do what you're doing so this is my face You guys know i had i had a lot of dark spots and i've tried to clear most of the dark spots but i have to do this so i can take off much of the dead skin so i'm going to put a couple of drops of rose hair hip oil on my hand that's rose hip oil then i apply it on my face guys usually i always put rose hip oil on my skin but i stopped doing that i use it only when i want to kind of like um do this um, treatment stuff, take away the dead skin. That's when I use rose hip oil. Okay, so you see that? I just apply um, oil on my skin. And now I'm gonna be using the blade. I'm gonna be using this blade to scrub up the dead skin on my skin. So the oil helps soften the, the dead skin cells on your skin. And it also helps the process to go smoothly with the blade so i'm gonna start here okay you guys see that you see you see the i don't know if you can see that but do you see the dead skin that is coming up on my face especially up here see that you guys see that you 
this is all dead skin cells with a little bit of hair growing out on your face that you don't know so I have a tissue right here guys this thing is really good if you can go to if you can't go for facial you do this at home you're gonna be surprised of the result you see you see my skin Please don't go um don't go and spoil your eyebrows okay try to avoid <laughs> making mistake to shift your eyebrows You need to be gentle with this. Just also take away the hair. If there's any hair growing, growing on your skin. Guys, this was my problematic area under my chin. Momona acne is all about getting acne under your chin. So I'm so proud that everything has cleared and my skin has cleared. Guys, I am so sorry. I wanted to apologize. For those that don't know me, my name is Leonine. I'm a YouTuber. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been making videos for some time now. Because I'm super, super busy. But I'm going to try as much as to embark into my video making. So I can show you guys some good stuff. I know many people have been reaching out, asking me why I've been quiet. But I've ha I'm having a project I'm working on. And it's just eating a whole lot of my time. So I'm going to try as much as to get back and be active, okay? I'm going to try. <laughs> I don't promise, but I'm going to try, guys. Forget your nose. You need to be gentle, as gentle as you can, so you don't hurt yourself, guys. You need to be as gentle as you can, okay. So you don't hurt yourself. Alright. So you guys can see all the yuckiness. That is from my face. So after you do this. It's always advisable to wash off the oil. Because I don't like to keep the oil on my face. Since I'm, I'm, I have oil skin. I have oil skin. So I don't like to keep oil on my face. I have to wash it up with my cleanser. Then I'm gonna apply my face product after I'm done washing it up. Guys, I always like to 
massage my cleanser on my skin without water because whatever beneficial ingredients in this cleanser it gets in my skin and it does its job before I apply water on my skin that's how I always do it so guys when i finish washing my face i don't use towel i don't use anything i use paper napkin because paper napkin is clean every time you use especially when you have the acne prone skin you don't want to use towel because towel will transmit bacteria you have bacteria on your towel you don't even know and you're going to transmit it onto your face so paper napkin is is way way better because you have new napkin at the time so that's my skin right now do you guys see how smooth do you guys see how smooth my skin is so right now i'm gonna apply my lotion so that's how smooth my skin is after doing the the blading so i'm gonna apply this i'm gonna be talking i'm gonna make a video that will talk about most of my product i use on my face to get the glow to get the take out that took away most of my spots because i had a whole lot of spot deep scars in my skin so i'll show you guys some of the product i've been busy so that's why i did not get to make any video but this is one of the product i'm going to be using i always use on my face right now guys i use only korean products they are really good to me they are very gentle on the skin they're amazing they're gonna make your skin glow i'm gonna show you guys so this is um you can use this as a toner and you can use this as a essence so it is um a glowing essence so i don't like to put it on a cutting ball because i'm gonna waste it it's very very it's very 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 beneficial it makes your skin glow and after i use that since i did the blading i always use this um snail essence you guys know snail essence helps to heal your skin if you have wound those of you that know much about snail um you can use snail to heal your wound so um the essence is really good it rebuilds your skin cells and heal your skin from any harsh condition or chemicals so i always like to use it put a couple of pump don't forget your under eye guys my under eye i don't use any extra cream under my eye because i use all my product under my eye too and it really works for me so i don't have to spend any extra bucks buying buying another product for under my eyes i see people buy product for under their eyes separate from their face guys doing all this routine first of all is a lot of work so having extra product for every part of your face I don't think I can do that. Go down to your neck. Don't forget your neck. Be generous with your neck too. Guys, so this is my skin, guys. And um, one can thing you have makeup on, but you don't. So this is my skin, guys. As I told you guys, I do this once a month. I do this once a month or um, every other two weeks to have to take away the dead skin and get the glow that i need to get on my skin and look succulent and healthy okay so but if you have money you you're kind of like uh, you like some massage it's good to go for facial yeah it's good to do facial every month at least they will help take away the dead skin and help gives you the glow make your skin smooth and beautiful but if you don't have the time me i i, I haven't i've been there for like a couple of times but it's been like almost 
three months now or two months now i don't have the time to go there so what i do i just do my blading in the house to clean my skin and that really works for me so if you see me i go back to the fascia it's just because i want to go get some massage you guys know you know you know how it feels okay guys we've come to the end of this video um thank you for watching to the end i love you guys and if you have any question or you have any concern or you want to ask me any advice please don't forget to um message me down there below i will definitely respond to your message as soon as i can and please don't forget to subscribe and share my video so you can get more of this anytime if you have any Thing you want me to do or anything you want me to you want to want me to show you guys just let me know there's not gonna create time to make the content and show you guys but as i say i'm sorry again i'm gonna try to be active on facebook on youtube because i haven't been active on youtube as usual i'm gonna try as much as to post videos regularly as as requested okay i love you guys as usual stay happy Love yourself so you can learn how to love others. Bye.